Let's take a look at some more solving multi-step equations. Remember our goal is always to get the variable by itself. No matter what we're solving, if we're asked to solve, uh, right into your mind should pop the idea that we need to get the variable by itself. In this first one, let's take a look, and we need to get first all the variables together. So we've got a, a point seven w here and a four w here. Let's go ahead and combine those like terms first. So we have four point seven w plus sixteen. We're just going to bring down everything else equals twenty seven point two eight. So we've combined the w terms first. Then we want to get that w by itself. So our we need to get rid of everything else that's hanging out with it. We do that by doing the opposite of what's there. So we've got plus 16 to get rid of it. We do the opposite, which is minus 16. So we'll subtract 16 on both sides. Then we get 4w, 4.7w, excuse me, equals 11.28. Okay. Then finally, we want to get that w by itself. It's being multiplied by 4.7. To get rid of that, we do the opposite. Opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by 4.7 on both sides. And we end up with W, because the 4.7s cancel out, equals 2.4. Okay, remember again, we can always t check that by putting the 2.4 back in for W in both spots in our equation, and it should work out. I'll leave that to you. The next one, again, here we've got some parentheses. To get rid of the parentheses, we need to pull out our distributive property. So let's go ahead and distribute that negative 6 through to get rid of the parentheses. So we're going to multiply negative 6 by m, negative 6 by 1. So negative 6m, then negative 6 times 1 would be minus 6 plus 18. Then we need to combine like terms. So let's see what we have for like terms. 24 equals negative 6m, then we have minus 6 plus 18. Combine those and we have 12. Then we want to get that m by itself, so we get rid of the other stuff that's with it. In this case we have plus 12, so we're going to go ahead and subtract 12 from both sides. 24 minus 12 is 12 equals, bring down what's left, negative 6m. Then finally we're going to go ahead and divide by negative 6 because it's being multiplied by negative 6. So we do the opposite. Both sides, 12 divided by negative 6 is negative 2. So we're left with negative 2 equals m, or m equals negative 2. All right, then let's hop over on top on this side. In this one, we've got parentheses hanging out again, so we need to get rid of those. So let's start by go ahead and distribute that 2 through so it would be 2 times k and 2 times 12 so this stuff's not going to change for now 7k minus 8 then 2 times k would be plus 2k then 2 times 12 would be plus 24 and then that's going to be equal to 52 we didn't change that part so we just bring it right down then we're going to combine like terms again in this case we have a k term here and a k term here. 7k and 2k, that would be combined 9k. Then negative 8 and 24, combine those two, that gives us plus 16. Then we've got that stuff all combined, that's going to still be equal to 52. Now we want that k by itself, so we get rid of the other stuff. We've got a plus 16 again. Just like before, we're going to do the opposite, which is subtracting 16 from both sides. So we subtract 16, bring down what's left. We have 9. Oops. 9. Hey, 9. There it is. 9K equals 52 minus 16 gives us 36. Finally, to get the K by itself, we divide by 9 on both sides and we're left with k equals 4. Again, remember, we can check, put that 4 back in. Every time we see a k in our original equation, 
and it should work out. All right, our fourth, third one here, fourth one, we again see parentheses. To get rid of those parentheses, we use our distributive property. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this 4 by each thing that's inside the parentheses. So 4 times 1.5c is 3c. Excuse me, 6c. 6c. Because two of them make three, and then two more will be three more. So 6c, then 4 times 6 is 24, so plus 24 minus 2c equals negative 8. Then, take a look. Can we combine anything? Sure can. We've got c's here and c's over here, so we combine those. Four, or 6c and minus 2c gives us 4c plus 24 equals negative 8. Just bringing stuff down. Then, we want to get that c by itself, so we need to get rid of the plus 24. To do so, we just do the opposite again. Both sides of our equation, 4c is what's left over here, 24s are gone, equals negative 8 minus 24 gives us negative 32. Then, finally, we need to go ahead and divide by 4 on both sides, and we're left with just c equals negative 8. Finally, <coughs> down here, no parentheses in this one, so we're not going to need to use the distributive property, but we do have some terms that we can combine. We've got an n thing over here, we've got an n thing over here. We've got 0.5n, and then just this n, remember, if there's no variable, it's just one. There's one n there, so if it's easier to think about it that way, you definitely can do that. 1 plus 0.5n gives us 1.5n plus 17. Again, I'm just bringing down the stuff I didn't do anything with. Equals 20. Now, we want to get that n by itself, so we're going to go ahead and subtract 17 from both sides. I'm going to write it over here. We have 1.5n equals 20 minus 17 is 3. And finally, we're going to divide by 1.5 on both sides to get that n by itself. 1.5s cancel out, of course. We're left with just n. 3 divided by 1.5 gives us 2. So n equals 2. Again, we could check it, pop that 2 back in for the n's in our original equation, and we should get out. And we will get out the correct answer. We could try it if we want. Let's just do it quick here. 2 times 1.5 would give us 1. Then we have plus 17, that would be 18. Plus 2 would be 20. So sure enough, it works. So more work solving multi-step equations. Remember, any time we're asked to solve an equation, we want to get the variable by itself. Sometimes we're going to have to do some stuff in order to make that happen, such as combining like terms, using the distributive property to get rid of parentheses, maybe combining some more like terms, and then we just go ahead, work it down, till we get that variable all by itself. Get rid of stuff that's there by doing the opposite, and off we go. I hope that helps. Have uh, a good day, and uh, good luck with your math.